Okay, people want to briefly explain to you all about the specific on not having eternal life. What do it mean to not have eternal life? Not having eternal life means for those who are living right now, those who are living right now in this world of Satan, Satan is the God of this world. He's the lowercase g God of this world. Those who are continuously living a wicked lifestyle. And you know what living a wicked lifestyle means. If you don't know what living a wicked lifestyle means, I can leave it in the, in the, uh, the description. But if you are living a wicked lifestyle, mistreating people, not willing to uh, reconcile and, and, and uh, apologize to those who you've done wrong in the past, present, those who you plan to continue to do wrong to, if you're doing all these things and have done all these things and have not reconciled with the person or people and even repented, if you've never repented or you're not willing to repent of your sins, and not only that, people, not, not just repenting to God, but also reconciling with those who you've done wrong. Huh? See, you have to have closure and righteousness with those who you've done wrong before you can be forgiven of your sins by God Almighty. Huh? So those who are full of pride and evilness and you're constantly living this type of lifestyle all the way to Yeshua's second coming, to Jesus Christ's second coming. What's going to happen? You're going to die because you're not going to be part of the first resurrection. You can get that out the way. You're not going to be part of the first resurrection. That's the point of Yeshua's second coming. So when he come to get the first resurrection, everybody else is dead. But those who have been wicked and continuously wicked all the way to Yeshua's second coming, what's going to happen is you're going to be resurrected again. You're going to be resurrected again. But only to be tossed into the lake of fire. You will not have a chance to receive life. You will not have a chance to receive salvation to become part of the kingdom. I'm, I'm talking to the wicked. I'm not talking about the vast majority who will receive salvation. Who will be part of the second resurrection. Who will be part of the great white throne. That's the vast majority who will have a second chance. Those are those who who just lack in spiritual uh, uh, knowledge. Those who are living a spiritual ignorant and that, that's not called. But not living a wicked lifestyle. But those who are living in wickedness. Ooh, God, I hate the wicked. Their father is Satan. Those who are now living this lifestyle and who chooses not to repent. Or even uh, apologize or reconcile with those who they mistreated. They would die just to be resurrected for the third resurrection. During the third resurrection, they would be resurrected to be tossed into the lake of fire. They would have eternal death along with the false uh, prophet, the false prophet and the antichrist. They will be tossed off for all eternally. That's what that means, having eternal death. It would be like a match, and blown out, and you are no more. Not only that, people, but even the wicked who's going to be tossed into the lake of fire will no longer be remembered. You have to understand this. Just like today, we could remember our family and relatives and friends and so on, those who've passed and, 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 and we remember them. They have memorials and stuff like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. We remember them. But the new world to come, they will be forgotten. Yeah, you the wicked who's choosing to live a wicked, evil lifestyle because of pride, because of your father, Satan. You're not getting away with what you're doing. Hallelujah. So you need to know that you will not have 
another chance at life. You will be thrown off for all eternity and forgotten. You will not be suffering day and night. You will not be tormented day and night like Satan and the demons because Satan and the demons are spirits. Spirits are forever. But the wicked right now is in flesh. They're flesh and blood. Flesh and blood cannot enter into the kingdom. They will be tossed off, rotted, tossed off, and burnt out. That's what's going to happen to the wicked if you don't get it together right now. Huh? Who want that? But unfortunately, it's going to be those that's going to get it. So I'm here to tell you, those who've lived the racism lifestyle, those who killed black people, murdered black people, lied on black people, who were, who were their masters as they were slaves and lived a long life, who killed Emmett Till. The list goes on. Martin Luther King or whatever. Those who've done this. Let's not forget Adolf Hitler who treated the Jews with contempt. Ooh, he was a horrible person who worshipped Satan. He worshipped the magic. He was a magician worshipper. Who treated the Jews with hatred and killed them. Killed millions of them. These people have lived a long time. It's people still to this day who are living and have not repented. Those who've died after living a long time after what they've done to uh, others. Not just black people. I'm giving an example. They've lived a long time, some 90s and early 100s, huh? Who lived a peaceful lifestyle, but yet still did not apologize, still don't find nothing, fault finding in what they've done, and did not repent. Those people who have died, now, those that still living, if you see this video, you still have time to repent. Have mercy, God. You still have time to repent. Huh? But those who have died after doing what they've done as a lifestyle, when Yeshua returned, they will not have a second chance at life. They died with their wickedness. They died with their evilness in their spirit. When you die, your spirit goes back to God. God put it back in you for the resurrection. He humiliates you. He humiliates the wicked before he toss them out. That's going to be a horrible thing before you die for that second time. That's going to be a horrible thing. You're going to get humiliated for all the things that you've done wrong towards others. For all the contemptuous things that you've done against God. How dare you think you're going to have a peaceful life. No, you're going to be resurrected just to get humiliated and tossed out for all eternity. See, people, you have to understand it's very important to get your, your mind right. To get your spirit right. It's very important. This is not a game. By the end of the day, God Almighty, Yahweh Elohim, Yahuwah, is in control. He created all of us, not Allah, not Buddha, not Yin Yang. The list goes on. Huh? Not Yahweh being Yahweh. No. God Almighty created us, and he could take us away when our spirit when we die fleshly, our spirit is going back to the one who gave it to us. Not all these things and people who everybody worship. What is wrong with y'all? Y'all got to understand you're going to miss it. Hallelujah. You're going to miss it. Huh? You got countries out there that kills their women. For them living the way they choose to live. I don't care if it is derogatory. Who are you to have the permission to feel you get the permission by Allah 
to kill a woman, to kill your daughter because you don't like the way she lives, uh, uh, because you don't approve of her lifestyle. How dare we think that this is what God Almighty wants for us? Huh? You kill her. You kill her. You kill her because you a man and y'all laws is we're Muslims and we get to, to kill because they that's not approving of our religion. How dare we think this is right? What about your sins? See what I'm saying, people? You got people out here in this world that make up their own rules and regulations and laws of how they should live. A man could live and have 13 wives and do what he want to do. But once one of those women go over there and put on a tight skirt, they got the permission to kill him. Huh? You don't think you're going to be judged for that? How dare you? People, if you're living a wicked, um, approval lifestyle of God, you will seek the death penalty. You will seek the death penalty. Huh? Repent.